Hello Swing Squad! Swing Dunk offers lots of freedom in terms of how you play the game. However, the controls might be a bit difficult for new players. Don't worry though because we got 9 essential tips that the new players would definitely want to know. So let's jump straight into it. Number 1. Ball Positioning I see a lot of new players confused with which direction the ball will swing when pressing the swing button. Basically, the ball will swing forwards when it's behind you and will swing backwards when it's in front of you. Now you know which way the ball swings, let's talk about the situations where you want the ball either in front of you or behind you. When the opposing player are chasing behind you, you don't want to put the ball behind you as it'll result in an easy steal for your opponent. In these situations, it's best to keep the ball in front of you to avoid getting the ball stolen and go for a layup. Similarly, when your opponents are trying to block you from the front, keep the ball behind you and shoot. This isn't the answer to all situations, but this basic knowledge will help you go through the opponent's defense and make shots. Number 2. Tilt, Tilt, and Tilt If you want to get good at this game, you need to learn how to tilt, especially back tilt. By pressing the backwards key while mid-air, you'll tilt back. This allows you to be able to do layups by putting the ball in front of you, jump, tilt back, and toss. Mixing back tilt with dash gives a whole lot of other options. You can do layups and dunk from much farther away, position yourself for an alley-oop, block shots from above the rim, and so on. There are many other ways to utilize the tilt function, so go ahead and experiment. Number 3. Don't waste your dash. Dash is an essential function in Swing Dunk that helps you in multiple situations. You can use this to go through enemy defense, increase air time by multiple jump and tilt dash, and chase enemies. But using them mindlessly can cost you the game. For example, if your team's defense is breached but you don't have enough nitro to dash, it will be extremely difficult to catch up to them. On the other hand, if you have the ball with 3 dashes available, it'll be much easier to increase the gap between your opponent and score an easy goal. Because of this, it is vital that you only use dash when absolutely necessary. Number 4. Steal Immunity this function isn't really explained in the game, so I'll take this time to go over it. Steal immunity occurs when you steal the ball by directly making contact with the ball that's in the opponent's possession, or by grabbing a neutral ball with grab. Once in this state, a round shield will surround the ball, and the ball will be prevented from being stolen while also knocking back opponents for one second. Do take note that grab goes through steal immunity, so even when it's activated, you'll be able to knock the ball away which leads to our next tip. Number 5. Use Grab Wisely Grab is a powerful feature that lets you grab the ball from afar and knock away the ball in enemy possession. As mentioned before, Grab can go through steel immunity, so you can basically knock the ball away anytime if you're close enough. However, Grab has a 3 second cooldown, and the cooldown will be paused when you have the ball. Grab can be utilized to receive pass midair for an alley-oop, or knock the ball away when your opponent's going for a shot. So don't spam it and use it only when necessary. Number 6. Shooting Tips Shooting in Swing Dunk takes some time to get used to, especially knowing the time and the angle to release the ball while swinging. This you'll have to learn on your own, but there are some tips that I can give that could help you make shots easier during a match. To start, 3 points are easier to shoot than 2 points, relatively. Shooting is a bit difficult the more you're close to the basket. Because of the trajectory when shooting up close, you'll need to swing and release in an extremely quick succession to get that high angle shot. When shooting 3 pointers, you have more time to time your release when swinging. To sum it up, do layups or dunks when you're close to the basket, and shoot when you're on the 3 point line. Another small tip when you're having hard time shooting is to jump then shoot. Jumping allows you to shoot further with better angles for the shot. Plus, the hang time you have when jumping gives you the time to think about the direction and the timing of your release. 
keep in mind that you're vulnerable when you're up in the air, so use it only when you have the chance to do so. Number 7. Passing Passing is exactly like shooting, except that you're aiming for your teammate. There will be many times in the game where more than one opponent is trying to steal a ball from you. Unless you have mad dribble skills, it is difficult to go through multiple opponents. However, this means that your teammates are wide open, which you can use the situation as an advantage by passing the ball to an open teammate. So when the time comes, don't be a ball hog and try making pass plays for an easy goal. Number 8. Useful settings For beginners, changing the swing type can improve the gaming experience. From settings and on the gameplay tab, you can change the swing type to either hold or toggle. Setting the swing type to toggle will make you keep swinging the ball with just one click. Setting it to hold will make the ball swing only 180 degrees with one click, unless you hold the swing button. I personally use toggle, but neither is better than the other, so try them out and see which one works for you. Number 9. Go out there and experiment. The biggest strong point of Swing Dunk is the high level of freedom when it comes to controls. There is no one button solution to everything. You might come across an unintentional situation that could lead to an incredible play. A miscalculated pass can turn into a shot, a bounce from the ceiling can turn into a setup for an alley-oop. The possibilities are endless. You can practice in free play to check out different moves, or try making your own, so don't be afraid to experiment. And that's it for the video. Hope these tips helped. If there are other things you want me to cover, please leave a comment down below and I will see you all next time.